Hugh O'Brien died of a secret when his wife revealed it, so bad poor. Hugh O'Brien was born Hugh Charles Cramp on April 19, 1925, in Rochester, New York, and is best known for his portrayal of the legendary Wyatt Earp in the 1950s television series The Life and Legend of Wyatt Earp. O'Brien's career spanned more than five decades, and his work as an actor, humanitarian, and philanthropist left a lasting impact on Hollywood and beyond. Hugh O'Brien was born into a family with a strong military background, which greatly influenced his early years. His father was an officer in the U.S. Marine Corps, and young Hugh followed in his father's footsteps, eventually enlisting in the Marine Corps himself. Before joining the military, O'Brien attended New Trier High School in Winnetka, Illinois, and later enrolled at the University of Cincinnati, intending to study law. However, World War II altered his trajectory when he enlisted in the Marine Corps at the age of 17, becoming one of the youngest drill instructors in the history of the Marines. After the war, O'Brien returned to civilian life, but his plans to pursue law shifted dramatically when he discovered a passion for acting. While visiting Los Angeles, he was invited to watch a play rehearsal, and from that moment, he became captivated by the world of theater. Soon after, he decided to pursue acting full-time, taking the stage name Hugh O'Brien. Hollywood Breakthrough in the Life and Legend of Wyatt Earp O'Brien's early years in Hollywood were filled with small roles in film and television, but his breakthrough came in 1955 when he was cast as the titular character in The Life and Legend of Wyatt Earp. The series was one of television's first adult westerns and ran for six seasons from 1955 to 1961. O'Brien's portrayal of the famed lawman Wyatt Earp was groundbreaking for its time, as the show emphasized historical accuracy and presented Earp as a moral figure who sought justice without resorting to violence unless necessary. O'Brien became a household name through his role as Earp and the show's success helped cement the Western genre as a staple of American television in the 1950s and 1960s. His stoic, yet charismatic, portrayal of Earp made him a symbol of law and order, earning him the admiration of millions of viewers. O'Brien's deep voice, sharp features, and commanding presence made him the perfect embodiment of the Western hero, a role that would define his career. Though best known for his work on Wyatt Earp, O'Brien also enjoyed a successful career in films. He appeared in a wide range of movies, from comedies to action films. Some of his notable roles include performances in There's No Business Like Show Business, 1954, The Fiend Who Walked the West, 1958, and Come Fly With Me, 1963. Despite these roles, it was his television work that truly resonated with audiences. Beyond Wyatt Earp, O'Brien appeared in a number of other successful TV series and films. He guest starred in popular shows such as The Love Boat, Fantasy Island, and Murder, She Wrote. In 1972, he starred in Search, a science fiction detective series, further showcasing his range as an actor. Although Search only ran for one season, O'Brien continued to work steadily in television and film throughout the 1970s and 1980s. Philanthropy and the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Foundation In addition to his acting career, O'Brien was deeply committed to humanitarian work, particularly through his efforts to inspire young people. His most enduring legacy outside of Hollywood is the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership, Hobie, Foundation, which he founded in 1958 after a life-changing meeting with the world-renowned humanitarian Dr. Albert Schweitzer. O'Brien had traveled to Africa to visit Schweitzer at his hospital in Gabon. The time he spent with Schweitzer deeply affected him, and he returned to the United States with a newfound passion for making a difference. Inspired by Schweitzer's dedication to service and education, O'Brien founded Hobie to empower high school students to become leaders in their communities. Hobie became one of the nation's largest youth leadership organizations, providing leadership training and educational experiences to thousands of students across the country each year. O'Brien's work with Hobie earned him numerous awards and accolades, and his commitment to nurturing future leaders became an integral part of his life's mission. Even as his acting career slowed, O'Brien remained dedicated to Hobie, attending conferences and events well into his later years. His belief in the power of youth and leadership left a lasting impact on countless lives.
In his later years, O'Brien continued to make occasional appearances in film and television, while also focusing on his philanthropic endeavors. He married for the first time at the age of 81, to Virginia Barber, in a ceremony that garnered media attention due to O'Brien's late-in-life decision to wed. The couple remained together until his passing. Hugh O'Brien gave Virginia Barber the title of wife too late, it's a marriage at the expense of many things, I feel that, at that age, whether you are married or not, both have their own difficulties, and his choice result, his son soon had no father. Barber, who had been married once previously, is a teacher by profession and the couple spent their honeymoon studying philosophy at Oxford University. O'Brien stated that he believed, an active mind is as important as an active body. Hugh O'Brien died of a secret when his wife revealed it. O'Brien had one son, Hugh Donald Cramp, by a relationship with photographer Adina Etkes. In his estate plan, O'Brien designates his wife Virginia as trustee of the estate, and beneficiaries include other family members and friends, and a charitable foundation. O'Brien died childless, however, after his death, at least two individuals filed lawsuits claiming to be O'Brien's children and demanding a division of his estate. The revelation that O'Brien may have fathered children outside of his marriage was further complicated when at least two individuals filed lawsuits after his death each claiming to be one of his biological children. These claimants, who were born to different mothers, asserted that O'Brien had engaged in relationships with their mothers and that they had a right to a portion of his estate. Each of the alleged children provided different types of evidence in their lawsuits, including testimony, letters, and photographs, in an attempt to prove their connection to the late actor. One of the claimants claimed that O'Brien had been in a relationship with her mother during the 1960s and that her mother had become pregnant with O'Brien's child. According to this claimant, when O'Brien found out about the pregnancy, he urged her mother to terminate it and even provided financial support for the procedure. Despite this, the pregnancy continued, and the child was born and raised without O'Brien's involvement. After O'Brien's death, the claimant sought to establish her status as his biological child even offering to undergo DNA testing to prove the connection. Another individual, also claiming to be O'Brien's child, presented different evidence in her lawsuit, including testimony from her mother and documents that allegedly linked her to the actor. Like the first claimant, she was willing to take a DNA test to support her claim. These claims, if proven, could have entitled the alleged children to a share of O'Brien's estate, sparking a fierce legal battle over the division of his assets. The lawsuits brought by O'Brien's alleged children hinged on the legal concept of missed children. Individuals who were not named in the estate plan but who, if they could prove their biological connection to O'Brien, would be entitled to the same inheritance as a child named in the will. Under California law, biological children who were not known or acknowledged at the time of a parent's death can still seek a portion of the estate if they can establish their paternity or maternity. The alleged children of Hugh O'Brien argued that they had been missed in his estate plan and that they were entitled to a share of the wealth he had left behind. Their legal claims raised difficult questions about the actor's private life and forced his estate, particularly his widow Virginia, to navigate a complex legal landscape. The claimant's willingness to take DNA tests added further intrigue to the situation as their potential biological connection to O'Brien could dramatically alter the distribution of his estate. For Virginia Barber, O'Brien's widow and the executor of his estate, the legal battles with the alleged children placed her in an emotionally taxing and legally challenging situation. Having been married to O'Brien for 10 years and knowing him for much longer, Virginia had a deep connection to her late husband and his legacy. The emergence of these claims from people who had never been part of O'Brien's public life was a bitter pill to swallow, as they threatened to unravel the carefully managed estate and sully O'Brien's memory. In addition to the emotional toll, the legal battles were expensive and time-consuming, drawing out the probate process and potentially delaying the disbursement of the estate to legitimate beneficiaries, including the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Foundation. Virginia was left to handle the fallout from these posthumous revelations, tasked with defending O'Brien's estate while maintaining the charitable work he had been so passionate about. Hugh O'Brien passed away on September 5, 2016, at the age of 91.
His death marked the end of an era for many who had grown up watching him as Wyatt Earp, and tributes poured in from across the entertainment industry and the philanthropic world. He was remembered not only as a talented actor but as a man who dedicated much of his life to serving others.